Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate debug mode in Project Zomboid. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into the mod selection menu and disable all of the mods that are currently enabled. We're doing this because there's a setting in the debug mode of Zomboid itself. When an error is thrown by one of these mods, it will prevent us from even getting into debug mode in the first place to shut off that setting. And if you've tried in the past to enter debug mode and you just get the plain black screen after it says the game is booting up, or it looks like you do everything right but you're still not in debug mode, this is probably the reason why. So after all of our mods are disabled, we can exit Project Zomboid and we'll open up the Steam client, go to the Project Zomboid game in our library, right click, Go to properties and in the launch modifications box we are going to type dash debug and in order to get out of debug mode you're just going to remove the dash debug in the steam launch property settings once you remove that and start up the game again you'll have a normal release version of the game running we can start up zomboid and i've also seen that you can hold left shift while the game is booting up instead of typing the dash debug, but I cannot get that to work, so I just put the dash debug in the launch settings, and that's how I do it at this point. Now, if you're in debug mode, you'll probably see a scenarios section in the center of your screen, and that means you are in the debug mode of the game. Now we'll hit F11, and it'll bring up a new screen that has a checkbox at the top that we are going to uncheck, and this is the break on error that I was talking about earlier. When a mod throws an error, it will automatically kick you out of debug mode, so we want to have this unchecked, and this will remain unchecked for the play session. And if you do happen to open it up again, it will automatically recheck that option. So just make sure before you close out of it with F11 again, you make sure it is unchecked. And now we're all set. You can go in and enable any mods that you want for a new save or go in and use debug mode on an existing save. And there are so many different options in the debug settings for the developers. You can go create custom scenarios, spawn in a bunch of vehicles and items and all that sort of stuff. It's very similar to the multiplayer admin controls when you're the host of a multiplayer server. I haven't even got through all the functionality, so I'll let you go and explore it yourselves. So thanks for watching and good luck on your next trip into Knox County.